Hi, welcome back to Farm Channel. Today I want to show you to how to do a directional growth with type flow in 3ds Max, and I just show you the the outcome. So let's see how I did it. First, there's a few things you need to know. Let's delete all of that. Okay, we start a new file. Save first. Every time, don't forget to save. Okay, let's go a tie flow, a little icon. Okay, and go to a type spline. And we make a few randomly scale, a random scale sphere, which will help us to target. And we go click the type flow and open the editor and you can see the editor is quite similar to the particle flow and we need a birth this will help us to birth the particles and we need a growth this will help us to grow the particles <laughs> And another thing we want to add is to find a target. Oh, sorry, a spline path. Because we don't want um, just a particle. We want those particles become a spline that we can use further up. And you can see those, yeah, those changes that you can go super crazy Ah, it's still particles, no? Uh, okay, maybe this move. Okay, we just change it to siblings. Siblings will give us both spline lines and the particles. And in the growth, we can um, and we need to add a fine target. We can add it by selecting all the layers. It's more easy. I hope Forrest got this. <laughs> and you can see those particles and the splines f going from the from the little icon to grow in to find to grow towards the sphere. Another thing we want to add is speed. You know, for the f for the particles, burst speed are super important. Sometimes you need a uh, or uh, the rotations or something like that. But burst and speed is the fundamental. Okay, you can see those blind go too wild. That's not what we want. Is too wild. We want. Uh, I want something more plan at like growing something in the in the landscape view or growing something more horizontally no vertically no bombing too much so we probably need a uh, setting a limitation setting some a boundary for this so we going this way you know, type flow, read things through, read things one by one. So it's important to set up all those events in a good order. And we just, and I just set a limiter by decrease the Z axis. And that's pretty much how I want It's more flat. And I just saw this boundary. <laughs> um, and after I read those, I think the limiter is more, maybe more, maybe more good for my, maybe it's more better for my project. The boundary is actually not I want. Mm. 
I really like Thai flow is they always get um, a menu, like a descriptions of how the event work. So I just put the boundary on the back in case I need it. But for now, I'm happy with what happened. I just did a bit crazy thing about the scale things. It goes quite well. I love it. Okay, let's see. Well, apparently because I add one new event and it mixed up all the orders, so the outcome get quite separated. It wasn't the way we saw before because the, the spline get too targeting on the surface. We need to rearrange the order. Something like that, that's cool. Are they back? Thank you for watching and see you next time.